Hi everyone, welcome to Craft and Crochet. Today I bring another beautiful and really easy baby blanket. In my previous video, I show more beautiful baby blanket. Then I have so many lovely comments. Thank you very much for everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to crochet this beautiful and really soft baby blanket. You can see this blanket is so soft, it's perfect for the babies. I really love this blanket. It's so beautiful and really easy to make. Even beginners can make too. I hope you will love it too. If you like this video, please thumbs up and share and comment down below. If you're new for my channel, don't forget to join with my thousand of subscribers by clicking this subscribe button and the bell icon. If you missed my previous video, please click on my channel name Craft and Crochet. Under this video icon, you can get my all previous video in here. This all videos are with the subtitle too. Okay, let's get start. Before we start, I'm gonna give you all detail about this blanket. First, let's see how what size is this blanket. This blanket, it's this side is coming around 40 inches. You can see 40 inches in this side this is the rectangle shape blanket is a baby it's perfect for the baby size in this side is coming around 35 to 36 inches this size blanket is perfect for the baby it's not too big it's not too small and this size blanket you can make around 8 hours. I take around 8 hours to finish this blanket. You can see this pattern is so beautiful. I'm using same pattern for the border. This is the my finished blanket. I'm going to start new blanket with the white color yarn. You can choose any color if you like. I'm going to use 5 yarn ball. I need altogether four and a half yarn ball. This yarn is double knitting yarn. This yarn ball have a hundred gram, three hundred meters, and recommend hook is four. This is the double knitting yarn. I need four yarn ball and half yarn ball altogether four hundred and fifty yarn. I'm using four millimeter crochet hook to make this blanket. This blanket is going side to side. I'm using white color yarn. I'm going to use this my stitch counter. In my previous video, I show how to use this one. It's really useful. I'm going to put this stitch marker, sorry, stitch counter in my hook. If you don't have any of these, you can use different color yarn. I'm going to show you how to use this stitch counter. To begin, slip knot. And chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10. I have a 10 chain. I'm going to mark in here 1. I'm going to count 10 by 10. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I have a 20. I'm going to mark in here 2. I'm going to show you next how to use the different color yarn. Now I have a hundred chain in here. I'm going to show you how to use the different color yarn. I'm going to put this different color yarn and behind hook like this. Then again I'm going to start my chain. Altogether, I need 152 chain. 
Now I have 150 chain. I'm going to add two more chain. One, two. Now I have altogether 152 chain. This pattern is going multiple of eight plus one. I'm going to add one chain. Now I have altogether 153 chain. I'm going to turn this chain to back side. Skip first chain into the second chain. Single crochet. Next, skip three chain one, two, three into the fourth chain, double crochet. Skip one, two, three into the fourth chain, double crochet. Now I have one double crochet. I need six more double crochet into the same space. Now I have a two double crochet, three, four, five, six double crochet, seven double crochet. Now I made seven double crochet for the fourth chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 7 double crochet, skip 5, 6, 7 chain into the 8th chain, single crochet. This is the first shell for this first round. Skip 3 chain into the 4th chain, 7 double crochet, skip 3 chain into the 8th chain, single crochet again skip three chain into the fourth chain seven double crochet one two three four five six seven seven double crochet skip next three chain one two three into the fourth chain again single crochet now i finished two shell it's look like this again skip one, two, three chain into the fourth chain, seven double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven double crochet. Skip next three chain into the fourth chain, single crochet. This is the first row. It's coming like this. Follow this pattern to the end of this last chain. I'm going to show you end of this first row. Now I have a eight chain left. Skip three chain into the fourth chain. 7 double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 double crochet and 7 double crochet skip one, two, three, chain into this last chain, single crochet. Now I'm finished first row. It's look like this. 
let's count how many shell we have after first row one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen I have a 19 shell after first row. Next, I'm going to start this pattern. You can see this second row. I start with the fluffy stitch with the V stitch. Next is coming half shell. This pattern is going shell round and a frame work round. This framework round I am going to make with the fourth stage. This is the first row. Second row is start with the chain 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Turn your work other side. Into this single crochet I am going to make 1 fourth stage. Wrap the yarn, go through this single crochet and pull it up. Now I have one, two, three loops on a hook. Again, wrap the yarn, go through the same space, pull it up two times and three times and four times. Now I have one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loop on a hook. Now I'm going to close this loop. Now I have a one fluff stitch. I'm going to make five chain. One, two, three, four, five. Next, I'm going to make into this single crochet. Wrap the yarn, go through this single crochet, pull it up. One. Again, wrap the yarn, go through this space, pull it up. Two. Three. Four. Now, I'm going to close this old loop. I have a nine loop on a hook. Go through this all loops and close it up. Chain two, one, two, into the same space, one more fourth stage, one, two, three, four. Four time and close the this loop. You can see in here now we start with the one fluff stitch and here have a two fluff stitch. Next one is coming into this single crochet. Then I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, five chain. Into this single crochet again. One, two, three, and four. Go through this old loop and close it. Chain two, one, two. Again into same space. One. Two, three, four. Close this old loop. Second row, sorry, second row is going fluffy stitch with the chain into this space. Two fluffy stitch with the chain two. Follow this pattern to the end of this second row. I'm going to show you end of this second row. Now I'm nearly finished second row into this single crochet, fluff stitch, 
वन टू थ्री फोर क्लोज दिस ऑल लू चेन टू वन टू इन टू सेम स्पेस वन टू थ्री फोर क्लोज दिस ऑल लू चेन फाइव वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इन टू दिस लास्ट सिंगल क्रश है वन क्लब स्टेट वी गोन फिनिश सेम लाइक दिस साइड यू कैन सी इन दिस साइड आई स्टार्ट विद द फ्लप स्टिच विद द चेन फोर इन टू दिस सिंगल क्रश है वन Two, three, four. Cross this all loop and chain one into the single crochet. One double crochet. Now I'm finished second row. When you finish the second row, it look like this. You can see here I have a two fluffy stitch with the two chain, and here I have a one fluffy stitch with the one double crochet. This is the half one. This is the full one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. Two fluffy stitch with the chain two. This first and last have a half fluffy one fluffy stitch with the half V stitch. You can see in here have a full shell. In next row, row three, start with the chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work other side. Now I'm gonna make into this half V stitch, half shell. You can see in here have a full shell. Into this half shell, we need. Two double crochet into this chain space. One double crochet, two double crochet with this chain three all together. Three double crochet. Next, one, two, three, four into this four double crochet previous cell. I'm gonna anchor this chain five with the single crochet. You can see here. Into the next chain two space, I'm gonna make next shell with the seven double crochet. One, two, three, four. Sorry, three double crochet. One, two, three. Four double crochet, five double crochet, six double crochet, seven double crochet. You can see now into this two chain space, full shell and half chain, half shell. Now I'm gonna anchor this chain five top of this shell. Using by single crochet. Again into this chain two space, seven double crochet. Three, four, five, six, and seven double crochet. 
again I'm gonna anchor this chain 5 using single crochet to this previous shell top single crochet when you start the third row it's look like this follow this pattern to the end of this row I'm gonna show you end of this row how to finish now I'm nearly finished third row into this chain two space seven double crochet one two three four five six seven double crochet this is the shell with the seven double crochet into this top of this shell single crochet into this half fluffy stitch I'm gonna make half shell we have to finish same like we start with the three double crochet this is the half shell then I'm gonna make into this space three double crochet one double crochet two three three double crochet now I'm finished row three you can see this the full shell and this the half shell next is coming full shell into this full shell we need two fluffy stitch with the two chain and half shell is coming one fluffy stitch with the double crochet and a chain one row 4 1 2 3 4 row 4 start with the chain 1 turn your work other side into this space single crochet chain 2 1 2 into this single crochet I'm gonna make two fluffy stitch You can see in here into this single crochet two fluff stitch one two three four go through this old loop and close chain two one two again into the same space one more fluff stitch close this old loop chain 5 into this single crochet again 2 fluff stitch with the chain 2 chain 5 into this single crochet 1 2 3 4 go through this all loop and close chain 2 1 2 again into same space one more fluff stitch 1 2 3 four time and close this all loop you can see now it's coming this row is coming full shell same like a row one follow this pattern to this each single crochet to two fluff stitch i'm going to show you end of this row four now i'm nearly finished this row four into this single crochet two fluff stitch with the chain two one chain two one more fluff stitch with the four time three four close this all loop now i'm going to finish this row four we have to finish same like uh, we start the row four you can see here have a chain two one two into this third chain single crochet now I finish row four chain one when you finish the row four it's look like this
next row is coming full shelf like same like a first row into the same space single crochet again into this chain two space is coming full shell mean seven double crochet one two three four five six seven double crochet this is the full shell again anchor this chain five using previous shell top single crochet again into this chain two space seven double crochet one two three four five six seven seven double crochet into this previous shell top single crochet with the anchor with this chain five when you start the row five it's look like this end of this row five you need 19 full shell i'm going to show you end of this row now i nearly finished row five into this chain two space seven double crochet this is the last shell for this row five seven double crochet into this single crochet single crochet now i finished row five with the full shell you can see i'm start with this row five full shell and i finish with the full shell next row six row six is going to repeat this four row that's first we we're gonna repeat second this is the second row second row is coming after six row second third fourth this four row is the repeat we're not going to repeat this first row. We're going to repeat second, third and fourth row. It's coming next. After four, sorry, five row is coming second row. It's repeat second. This, the, this pattern is going framework row and a shell row. This a second row is the half shell Um framework row is next is coming row six half framework crown then means second row is repeat second row after five row chain five into the single crochet two fluffy stitch with the chain two same like a row two it's repeat row 2 and 3 and 4. This is the repeat 4 rows. Follow this pattern all around to your blanket size. This blanket I made with the 70 rows. Here I have a 70 rows for this blanket. Now I am finished this 70 row. It looks like this. It's so beautiful I'm gonna show you how to make the border for this blanket this is the last shell into this chain two space seven double crochet three double crochet four double crochet five six and a seven you can see I'm finished with the full shell. 
into this single crochet single crochet now I finish my 70 row it's so beautiful let's see how long this I take around seven and a half hours to finish this 70 row it's coming 30 inches this high is coming 30 inches with the 70 row you can see here I have a 35 shell row and a fluffy stitch with the framework row 75 framework row all together all 70 rows 75 fluffy stitch framework rows and 75 shell rows next i'm going to show you how to make the border for this blanket now you can see in this side we have already shell i'm gonna make into this side shell now i'm gonna make into this space to single crochet and next to this fluffy stitch single crochet to single crochet into this third chain i'm using this third chain to make seven double crochet one two three four five six seven into this single sorry into this chain seven double crochet into this single crochet single crochet again into this third chain seven double crochet i'm using half shell chain three top of this third chain seven double crochet and six double crochet seven double crochet into this single crochet single crochet again into this third chain seven double crochet single crochet to single crochet follow this pattern to this this side i'm going to show you turn it how to turn this corner now i finish this side to shell it look like this this is the first corner now i'm going to show you second corner how to turn the second corner into this third chain seven double crochet two three four five six seven seven double crochet into this last chain into this last chain single crochet again into this side this is the chain start chain side into this space seven double crochet one two three four five 
six, seven, seven double crochet into this space. It's a single crochet. This side is really easy into this shell same space to into the same space seven double crochet and this the first corner we have already one side we have to make only three side now I finished two side this is the third side next I'm going to show you how to finish this third corner now I'm going to finish the third corner into this chain seven double crochet seven double crochet into this single crochet single crochet now I finish third side it's look like that this is the second corner third corner same like a second corner into this chain 3 space 2 sorry third chain 2 7 double crochet and single crochet to single crochet This is the third chain. Into this third chain. Seven double crochet. Into this single crochet. This is the single crochet into the single crochet, single crochet. Again into this third chain, seven double crochet, and into this single crochet, single crochet. Follow this pattern. I'm going to show you end of this round. Now I'm nearly finished this round. Into this third chain. 7 double crochet now I have a 7 double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 into this single crochet slip stitch now I finish all round this already we have uh, this top same pattern now you can see this all side have a same pattern if someone need you can finish like this but i'm gonna make one more row sorry two more round for this blanket then make more beautiful when you finish the one round it's look like this you can finish this much with the four yarn ball. I'm going to make two more round for this blanket. This top have a 19 shell and this both side have a 17 shell. This is the corner. I start with the chain three. One, two, three, into the same space, fluffy stitch with the three time. One, two, three. Go through this whole loop and close, and chain one, into the same space again. One, two, three. Close this whole loop. This is the first V stitch, chain two, 
into the same space one more we stitch with the fluff stitch this is a fluffy v stitch three time and close or loop chain one into the same space one more fluff stitch Now I am finished one corner, it is looked like this, chain 5 into the next single crochet, one fluffy stitch, chain 2 and one fluffy stitch, it is coming 4 times now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 and close this all loop, chain 2, Again into the same space, four times, one fluff stitch, same like before. Only for this corner is coming three times fluff stitch. Each single crochet to one fluff stitch. I'm going to show you one more corner. Close this all loop, chain 5, into this corner, into this single crochet, 1, 2, 3, close this all loop, chain 1, into the same space, one more fluff stitch, 2, 3, three time and close this whole loop chain two one two into the same space two more fluffy stitch with the chain one three time close the whole loop chain one again one more fluffy stitch and close this whole loop this corner is coming like this, chain 5 into the next single crochet, 2 fluffy stitch with the chain 2, this time 4 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, close this all loop. This all corner is coming like this, follow this pattern all around to this blanket. I'm going to show you how to finish this round. Now we're going to close this round using by single, sorry, slip stitch. Go through this third chain and slip stitch. Into the next space, slip stitch. This all corner it look like this it's coming two fluffy stitch sorry two v stitch with the chain two into this chain one space again seven double crochet we start with the chain three this first three chain is the first double crochet need more six six more double crochet all together seven double crochet this the shell into this chain two space single crochet again into this space seven double crochet into this chain space seven double crochet now i have a five double crochet six and a seven seven double crochet now same like before anchor this chain 5 using previous cell top single crochet next into this each chain 2 space to 7 double crochet only for this chain 2 space single crochet for this corner now we are going to finish this round with the shell 7 double crochet anchor this chain 5 using previous shell single crochet join with the third chain 
you symbolize slip stage now i finish this blanket i'm gonna cut this yarn for this blanket i take four and a half yarn ball i finish four and a half yarn ball you can see this much left now that means four and four hundred and fifty gram yarn i finish this blanket around eight hours Now I'm going to hide this yarn using yarn needle. This blanket pattern is so easy, even beginners can make too. This blanket have only two round to repeat, that means four round to repeat, but they have only two round, one is shell round, one is the framework round with the fluff stage now i finish this blanket this blanket is perfect size for the baby it's not too small and too, not too big and this so beautiful and so soft is coming this blanket is coming around 40 inches for this side this side is coming 40 inches and this blanket high is coming in this side it's coming around 36 inches It's so beautiful i hope you will love it if you like this video please thumbs up and share and comment down below if you finish this blanket you can share your finished blanket with my facebook group i give you a link in the description down below this one is coming around 36 inches thank you for watching see you again with another video